But what they don't understand is that I am willing to go to jail if that's what it takes for our country to win and become a democracy again. Okay, let's get this straight. You're the guy who undermined U.S. democracy because U.S. democracy was doing fine until you said in 2020 that the election was rigged and that's why Joe Biden won and you lost, except you didn't really concede and you certainly didn't want to leave the White House and you certainly didn't allow the peaceful transfer of power. Those are the things that brought down American democracy, which then concluded with the insurrection and the attack on the Capitol building. Again, that is chipping away at American democracy, and it was your idea. So you're the guy that crashed and burned American democracy, and now you want to be the guy who brings back American democracy, even if it means you're going to jail. But what they don't understand is that I am willing to go to jail if that's what it takes for our country to win and become a democracy again. Oh, we understand. We, we completely understand. Everybody understands that what you're trying to do here is set yourself up as a martyr. And this is, uh, you know, an insurance policy for yourself, because you now know that with four indictments, potentially five, 91 charges, that you are probably going to go to jail. And so by now, backtracking, preparing your base for the fact that you want to go to jail because you're doing it for them and they're coming after you, they're not just coming after me, and this is how we get our democracy back by me going to jail and you want to go to jail... This whole thing is you just setting up this kind of martyrdom argument so that when eventually you get taken away in handcuffs, you can say, well, I said that I was prepared to do this and here I am doing this and I'm doing it for you. Now, Donald Trump might not have said much in this clip and, you know, just a, a few words, but a few words speaks volumes to me. And anybody that is interested in analysing the mental pathology of this very compromised individual who clearly is unravelling in front of the public at large. And be very clear about how he is presenting this, because he also says not only do we want to get democracy back by me going to prison, but we want to win and get democracy back. So he's suggesting that he, Donald Trump, the Republican Party, or maybe just the Donald Trump Party, I mean, I don't know if they're mutually exclusive, the winning is how you bring back democracy, which makes no sense because ultimately people voting for him before didn't get him elected and then they brought about the insurrection. So the only way to effectively win is maybe to have another insurrection or for him to go to prison or both. In my view, the insurrection is still going on. All of this rhetoric, all of this language, even the chaos that we have in Congress trying to find a Speaker of the House and it being insurrectionists that are putting themselves up for the vote. This is still the insurrection going on, casting doubt upon the institution of American democracy to be undermined. And on the world stage, trust me, other countries are looking on and they're very disappointed at what they see because America's government is not functioning. And the tragedy is that as long as Donald Trump can delay, you know, use these delaying tactics, delaying trials, which he's trying to do, and now talking about being a martyr and wanting to go to prison, all of this stuff is designed to just slow up the process, including the government shutdown, which again, you know, was kicked into the long grass and once again could be something that we're going to have to look at next month. It's all designed to make Joe Biden look bad, whereas Joe Biden right now is behaving like a, an elder statesman, a, a wartime politician, somebody who is grounded and thoughtful and is trying to do his best to bring about peace in the Middle East. And I'm very grateful that he is talking about Palestinians being Palestinians and not terrorists, trying not to make that mistake of thinking that all Palestinians are Hamas, when of course they are the terrorists that committed the atrocities against Israel. So two very different camps right now, Biden going to Israel, Biden doing his best to be a diplomat, and Donald Trump trying to rip apart the justice system, trying to 
tear up the institutions that keep America great. And even with a gag order, I mean, he let rip on Letitia James again today. And I have no doubt that there's no way he's going to keep his trap shut regarding Tanya Chutkin and the prosecutors, the special prosecutor, and those others involved that he was basically gagged for criticising. I just don't think he has the ability to keep quiet now. He is desperate, he is anxious, he is nervous, he is running out of options, he is being backed into a corner, and the only way he knows how to behave in these situations is just to tear everything apart and burn everything down. And that's his tactic. So, finally, I would just say that if he thinks that going to prison is a is a is is martyrdom, then go for it. You be a martyr, Donald Trump. You go to prison because a lot of people will be very proud and thrilled for your martyrdom if that is the route that you choose to take. I am willing to go to jail if that's what it takes for our country to win and become a democracy again. I'm Anthony Davis. You can hear me every day on the 5 Minute News podcast on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered with Ron Philipkowski and on Sundays on the Weekend Show with Midas Touch.